Hello and welcome to a Let's Play by me, the game Woo 6 of a game I played a bunch as a kid, not particularly well, and I'm coming back to it. <laughs> Sim Town, which I guess is like Sim City except simpler. Anyways, yeah, if you want to play this game, it's on a certain website. You can contact me for that, but I can't exactly put it on YouTube because YouTube's silly. Also, I can't get the music to work there, so I got it on here. Bam. Brings back memories. Let's start. E. Oh, I guess it flashed it right there. That's fine. Yeah, a good website. Granted, it seems to love ads all over the place. I mean, they gotta get paid too, but still, it's like, uh, this ad's covering up half the screen. Please no. E. Now we got a house. From Arizona. Let's get several houses. My favorite was always this house, because, you know, me being from Alaska. I actually think I'd be in Alaska around this time. I don't know when this was made, but the thing there says December 1994. So I have a little housing district. I don't think it matters where we put these houses. Clown. Oh, it's probably because there's a tree there. Mm, gotta love this refresh rate. Close enough. It's a Victorian house, though. I can't just have that. We should also probably spend some things on stuff. Actually, let's zoom out a bit. It's weird, it's like... Too far in, a bit too far out. Whatever. Alright, we're sort of pizza parlor. Man, I miss... The, um, pizza places from like the 90s. Like Pizza Hut. But not like modern day, I don't think, oh. Do Pizza Hut's just let you eat inside the place? I remember just going there with my mom. You know, some fun places like an arcada. Okay, now we have more jobs than people, but we can fix that soon enough. Let's see, a post office. I was gonna be silly and be like, remember post offices, but it's like, oh yeah, people move things these days. Not that old, where it's like, I remember the time when people used to send things to each other. Yeah, I'd prefer death than doing that. Also, I think I do have that song on a loop over there. Eventually people... Oh yeah, I was gonna be like, eventually people will be moving to this town, but this is a town of 17. Near ghost town to the Midwest have a higher population than this. Uh, I remember living in a small town. What the hell is this? A Japanese house? Huh. Well, I guess things are pretty sci- or pretty weird in this game, because you do have a sci-fi house and a castle. There's also a spooky house. Oh god, it's gonna be the same three. How? What? I don't think there's a lot of time. But yeah, there's a castle. Which, to be fair, England does have quite a few of those castles. That people live in. Boy, I'm having the complete structure of, like, me as a kid. Oh, look, there's a person there. Well, let's build other things. What is that, clothing stuff? And that's Chinese? It'll be a Panda Express. I can't... Truth be told, I don't like pandas. I feel like they're... One second, Whoa, what is that? grocery store. Okay, we need one of those. I don't particularly like pandas, because they're the conservation animal. But 
they seem to put very little effort into actually conserving themselves. Because it's like, their diet is unhealthy for them. You know, bamboo. They are not particularly interested in procreating. And all that stuff. Red pandas, on the other hand, now that's a quality animal. Mm-hmm. Oh, pet store. Ugh. The reason why I cringed was because, like, it's probably the one of those pet stores where it's like, we have all these cute little animals here. Uh, what happens if no one buys them? Um, look at those cute animals over there. We're not going to talk about w what you just asked. I guess we get more housing projects. Since you build one of every house, let's build more of these ones. At least this game doesn't seem to have the problem with um, space that was it some city had. I always hated that about that game. It seemed like plenty of space when you first started out, but then you're like, oh, we don't have enough room to have, like, all the amenities of a town. Because you eventually go up against the borders of the town, and it's like, well, hmm, what now? Which I guess it did uh, want you to have other towns add more, what is it? Like, one would be a touristy town, another would be a college town, and so on. So I think you could transfer money. That's why I like City Skylines, because you could do everything there, give or take. Granted, it was only just one town. Though I always hated in Sim City, you know, the new, newish one, was the fact that like it would be like a policeman wouldn't be able to get there in time, and there would be a pickpocketing crime, and then all of a sudden several businesses closed down because there was a pickpocket. Too much crime in the area, you know? Yeah, but what are you gonna do this? What is this place? Tudor house. I like that. Looks nice. Just take a look at the inside of these houses when we uh, build all the things. A town of 107. Boy, what is that? 50 times smaller than the town I lived in for, what, three, four years? I think it was four years. It was a college town, because, you know, I went to college, again, for my job. The dating scene there was very small. There were two girls I liked, but one of them, well, had a boyfriend and then became engaged, and then another one just was into a relationship, she said. Unfortunate, but that's life. But then when I went on OK Cupid and stuff like that, it's like, there are three people within hundreds of miles of you. It's like, great. What the hell is a civic center? Looks like a building, like, of politics stuff. We need to make a school. Apparently kids in this game are really sad if you don't have escuelas. I know, right? Granted, as I'm older, I feel like I would... If I was a... Me... But in young me's body... I would be not particularly happy without, uh... School. Especially if I was, you know, in the 90s. Cause I don't get bored. Then I wouldn't have a job, eventually. I do commonly fantasize about, or not particularly fantasize, but be like, boy, wouldn't it be great if I had all the knowledge I had right now? And, you know, internal growth, but, you know, was young me again? You know, not so nervous, and 
more intelligent and all that stuff. Anyways, let's do environmental stuff. Oh, that's good. No garbage. There's some water. Water. How's the audio? Well, good thing I turned the audio stuff down. Nice. Advice? Tell me about advice. It's amazing how they're talking about recycling back then, but I guess, you know, these things, conservation is a long-standing issue and things that we've thought about for a long time. It's just, there have been certain groups of people that have, you know, stalled on it for decades and fought against it. You know who I'm talking about. Penguins. Hmm. Let's take a look at the inside of some of these buildings. I'm not sure if it's because I built a whole bunch of things or what, that the games like this. Though I don't particularly remember it moving particularly splendidly. This is a, what, game I used to play on the Macintosh? I would well, I do think of those days fondly, but then I'm like, boy, game's crashing all the time and stuff. Yeah, it is a haunted house. Hey guys, you probably want to leave. You, you know what, they're probably just used to it being like, you know, it's haunted, but you know, the rent's nice. Rainbow the cat. Let's see what this little house is. That is a big and probably uncomfortable couch. How are you doing? You have a school. Your occupation is I need a school. We have escuelas. Okay, we'll build a second school. Apparently, kids need multiple schools. And then, I don't know, we'll get more people. What don't we have? Maybe the frozen house. I think there's huskies in this game. Uh, can I move over that way? Eh. Before the days of moving controls. I really like being cold, but cozy. Like... Cozy's great because you're usually it's usually dry cold. You know? Almost. Jesus, how many people do we need to fill a school? You can tell it by this thing over here, which means there's more jobs than there are, you know. Houses, though I'm not sure if this is like one of those um things from what is it? There are billings where you actually have to wait for people to come in. There we go. Is that a pig? Yep, that's a pig. The hell? Where the hell is that? I have a bear skin rug, and it's polar bear. Ranch house. I wouldn't exactly call this a ranch house. I've lived in places where there's... I live in Texas. I wouldn't call that a ranch house. I'd call it a house. If I got my parents to look at it, they would probably be like, Oh, this is some kind of bungalow or duplex or something like that. It's or whatever. But I don't know. Ah, The Long Dark. I should check that game out again. A new chapter came out recently-ish. I'm not sure if it's like a brand, brand new chapter or what. Or 
or well, uh, to put it a different way, is it the chapter I was waiting on a couple of years ago, or is it some, like, something else? Ooh. Sorry, my mouth is running faster than my brain can think of the words. Is it the chapter that I've been waiting for a couple of years, that's the next one, I think like number three, or is it number four and I didn't notice number three? It seems like an alright place, especially if you have the entire building to yourself. There's a cat! If I click this, we'll... Okay. Can I deselect that place? Who is that? Population of 154. I need to watch that one movie that I'm kind of interested in that's from, like, you know, West Texas. It's, like, out near Alpine or whatever. Like, I can't remember what it's called. It was, like, Population 90-something. About these four st student... Yeah, students that are about to graduate high school, and they're like, we're gonna leave this place, and everybody's like, nah, you're gonna stay here. Because, um, where I lived used to have, like, what is it? Or the movies they had was like, uh, Spy Kids 2, Islands of Lost Dreams, There Will Be Blood. It'd be, I should watch There Will Be Blood again and be like, oh, I've seen this place, I shopped there. Granted, it would probably be in Marfa. Hmm, the Victorian house. Hmm. What else? Um... That one population town. A uh, giant. I like Giant. It's a long fucking movie. So you really kind of have to be in the mood to watch it. But, um... What else? Are oh, these the houses that stuff? Wait, was that a ramp? Get ramps. Huh. Wouldn't think a uh, town would have the amenities like that. Oh, and a place where a child made out of stone can pee. So many frame. I haven't seen a husky yet. Oh, no, there's a pug. That looks very spacious. Also, I just noticed there aren't any beds in this place. There's like, there's always a couch, and a television, and it seems like a computer, but no beds. Which I can understand like a place like this, where you only see the upstairs, but then where's the downstairs? Where's my mouse? There we go. Ah, the mobile home. Yep. Computer, television, couch, kitchen, nothing else. Hey kids, remember Elvish? I wonder if you asked a teenager these days who Elvis is, if they would be able to be like, hey, it's, um, this guy. What a great day. Pizza, gardening, cooking, dogs. What about you? Letter. Man, bowling alley pin setter. 
It really seems like a 90s-esque job or earlier. Oh yeah, we didn't see this place. The future house. Oh yeah, and that little um, Hawaiian place next to it. Mm-hmm. Space. It, the game maybe worked better on an older com on the Macintosh back then. Who knows? I have no. It's really weird to think that Macintosh went from doing well at computers to doing very meh at the computers, and then like seemed to be gone for about maybe a decade, and then came back with a force to make iPhones. to land. Oh yeah, your character creator. You only have one type of character, but they can have many clothes. <laughs> I'm very humorous. Yeah, we've been using some things, but we have been getting credits. There we go. Oh, safe. Eco villain, that's a really weird thing. I guess this was around the time of Captain Planet or whatever. So, what, uh, more schools? How much time we got anyways? We got time. I feel like we've had our fill of the game though. So this might just be a one-off. Because they built like one of everything and then, you know, everybody's like, well, we're happy here. Everything's balanced. I guess there's a tree there or something. Why is everybody paused? Maybe no one moves when I'm building stuff? More China Japanese house. I should not mix those up. Somebody would probably be angry with me. On these things, they like move, right? Or double click? Oh, you click on a certain spot. How things doing? More, more schools needed. How? We got like three schools and a population of one hundred and eighty-three. They're not like those dinky little schools that you'd see going, like, through the ancient Midwest. I was gonna say Midwest, but I mean ancient Midwest. Like, I, I remember coming across, like, I guess my stepdad's school, and it was this little building at the crossroads in the middle of nowhere. It was a one-room building. Granted, I guess this place doesn't look like it houses more than one room. But I'm talking, like, Little House on the Prairie kind of building. It looked like it was Halloween, if I remember, when they closed down. Because they had, like, those things up. It was filled with cobwebs. You could, I guess you could just go in there and take shit. Because it was just an abandoned building. I'll make multiple escuelas.
Who cares? You don't need these in any particular area. I don't believe, but I want to be sure. How about the cottage? Things I don't understand about the south, the south middle of the United States, or really bugs me, is it's the hottest place in America. And for some reason, the housing association is just so adamant with having black roofs. Like, hey, this is the place that's the hottest and uses the most air conditioning, right? Right. Okay. Um, what should we use to cover? Like, what's the color that we should use to cover the surface that you know? the sun is on the most. How about black? You mean the color that absorbs the most light energy and in turn heat? Yeah, fair enough. So, how's the things? Well, I guess, like, what is it, bushes, um, what, what is it? No child left behind thing? You can throw money at the situation, but it won't improve it, or plenty of skills. Though I guess granted, it, it, I don't know much about it. All I know is that lots of money, no, wait, I think I remember now. It was, these kids had to pass standardized tests, which didn't particularly help them. They just focused money in certain plates. They added money and focused in certain places, but then neglected other places. I don't know. It's probably a very complicated thing that, you know, somebody from a child lived, in, like, in the United States and now the United States. Eh, probably no one understand, especially what? Decades on? Gat. So where's Husky? What is this? Seems like nothing, I guess. Yeah, we got three minutes, right? Does the kid pee? No, oh, it's a non-movable object. Okay. There's a dog and there's a dog and there's a penguin. Thunder. Hmm. Nice. Oh. That burger joint's kind of creepy. Oh, also this place is kind of weird too. It's kind of interesting going from the 90s to what? Now? Because it's like the 90s. At least if, you know, you were part of the, I guess, mainstream amount of people, everything was good. You know, straight, white, Christian, American. And then things kind of get got harder for everybody, except for, you know, people that were rich and all that stuff. You know with downturns and stuff. I'm talking lots of politics for some reason. Who knows? I guess it, there's a lot, unlike in other games right now that I've been playing, there's not a lot of actually doing stuff so I can think and my mind just goes places. I haven't talked about politics 
a while since I've been at sea. Wait, there's a bus? There's cars? What the hell? Watch out! Oh, everyone's dead now. Oh, I have to say, good thing by the time I found out some things about myself, I no longer lived in the Bush era. Granted, the one after the one after... Obama. That wasn't particularly fun. Second, I thought you went on a unicycle. Hmm. I have to say, I did an audio test, but at least I can see those things there and turn down the volume. Yeen. Well, we're out of time. So, if <clears throat> you're interested in going back to a game like this, or for some reason you've never played this game but are interested in going to check it out, even though it's very meh, I feel it's meh, it's fine enough, but you really get into it in the first, what, 30 minutes at least? So maybe if I expand this town to like thousands, things would be better. Or there'd be more stuff. Wow, we got a lot of credits. Yeah, but it's a simple game for children, which I neglected because I guess if you don't have if you don't have things balanced and whatnot, houses decay and then turn into rubble, which I very faintly remember that happening. There are the kids. Cool. So schools are going well, and there's lots of food to go about. Good thing there's no beastie problem here. Hmm. So if you want to play this game, you can go to Classic Reloads. Hopefully YouTube wouldn't be all meh. Though it's me, you know, going that's where I played this game. I'd really hope not. Yeah, but I guess that's life. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, because like comments. You might tell me something interesting about this game if you played it more than I did. Or you played it. Um, if you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and share the videos that have grown. Please remember to spam new your animals, self control the pet population. Because that's something that's important to me. And until next time, let's play Mean Game 6 of some other old game that I haven't played in decades, maybe. Yeah. See ya.